We're going to go through and show some examples of what Wolpert has done with the Definian software. We started uh, doing some experimentation with their products probably about two years ago, and over the last year, I've really gotten more in depth with uh, with the analysis and work that we've done, and we found a couple of areas where we think think it uh, works really well, and especially when you're talking about data fusion with imagery and lidar. Uh, we're going to go through a couple of examples of those types of uh, products that we're working with. We're going to do a quick rundown here of who Wolpert is. For those of you who may not be familiar, we're a company based out of Dayton, Ohio. We uh, have 23 offices across the U.S. Uh, this is the next slide, Gregor. Uh, doing multidiscipline services for uh, architecture, engineering, mapping, and surveying. Uh, we have an office also operating internationally out of Panama, and that's primarily supporting LIDAR work in that area. Wolpert uh, operates three ALS-50 LIDAR systems, uh, again, across the entire country, two large format digital cameras, those being the Leica ADS-40, uh, and operating up to four aircraft day and night missions, depending on where we're at and uh, what the weather conditions allow us to do. So we have a large amount of information coming in, both imagery and, and LIDAR. And right now, next slide, much of our efforts are being uh, focused on statewide programs where entire states, groups of counties, regional groups of counties are, are coming together to do LIDAR and imagery programs. Uh, Wolpert is actively participating in uh, three of those currently uh, with Ohio, Indiana, and uh, an effort underway in Florida. And the types of products that primarily are being generated for those projects are imagery and LIDAR, anywhere from uh, a one foot or about a 30 centimeter resolution color imagery, uh, one meter false color infrared, higher resolution biops within counties, and then of course LIDAR. And that, uh, that varies between these different projects, there is a, a digital surface model that's actually being created from the imagery in Indiana that provides some of the same usability that LiDAR does. And then, of course, Florida is a, a higher resolution LiDAR product. But all three of these projects are creating vast amounts of information, both imagery and LiDAR. Uh, their primarily, primary purposes that they're being created for there are for topographic and planning purposes. Uh, our thought is that uh, this imagery in LiDAR provides a lot more information than that, and that uh, being able to use the information to extract value-added products is what we looked at Definians to do. We go on to the next slide, just kind of a wrap-up of some of our findings as we went through these two applications, the impervious and agricultural, agricultural analysis. On the impervious side, the uh, automated versus manual, obviously because this it's automated versus manual. There's a huge uh, savings in, in actual labor that's involved. So we've estimated that to be somewhere around a 20 times reduction in labor, total labor. The area calculations were within 10% of our ground truth, which was well within our expectations. The uh, one thing that we also found is that, and John alluded to this when he was talking, being inputting thematic inputs such as parcel, existing parcel information or even existing land classification information both increases the speed and the accuracies. So that's a nice thing about defending software is that you're not just talking about imagery inputs or elevation inputs such as LIDAR, but you can also have existing GIS data sets put into the, into the analysis. And then of course, uh, LIDAR did a great job of helping to improve the results of, of both analysis. Uh, some more things that we found along the way, the uh, the uh, classifications as far as the forest and crop, those were quite easy to do. Our, our, some of our next steps will be to try and see if we can expand those land use classifications beyond just the three that we were looking at. We feel confident we'll be able to do that. These are from the next slide, Gregor. Uh, the other thing that we're actively working on with Finians is trying to uh, expand this into more of a high throughput or clustered processing environment with terabytes of imagery and LiDAR inputs. Ideally, we would be able to spread this across vast numbers of CPUs uh, and have this process come out in, uh, in a shorter amount of time. So that would be an obvious next step. 
as these projects, these large area projects, uh, have subsequent year recollects, uh, we will, of course, be looking at doing some change detection over those different year, those different collection years. And we're also looking at uh, environmental monitoring with with these inputs. And uh, there's also some obvious security applications that could be could be done with uh, with imagery and lidar. Thank <laughs> you.